Greetings, star babies. This is the Looney Lyran. The Looney Lyran has the Pacific Coast air hits him. The Looney Lyran would like to welcome in at this time some old friends and family members of his. The Pleiadian Lyran Rainbow Orb Collective. The Rainbow Orb Collective would like to talk to you a little bit today about catchphrases, words, and how they're programmed into your 3D awareness. You will see on your media, you will see in your pop culture in all forms of perception in your 3D existence, you will see catchphrases. You will notice that some of these catchphrases catch on with maybe friends and family around you and they get hung up on such terms. You will even notice if you ever bother to turn on the television, which I would advise you not to, the Orb Collective would advise you not to, but you will see such channels in the United States as what you may call Fox News, where you have a newsroom filled, filled with clones. You see more and more women on there that look like they have fake teeth implanted in them, plastically fake hair, fake colors of eyes with opinions that just do not resonate with the rest of the country, with the majority of the country. You will hear them throw out such catchphrases as socialist or hope. Just like you may hear in the Starseed community, you may hear, I really resonate with that, and things of that nature. Clichés like this are good when you come from an overall understanding of what you're dealing with. Some people with just a 3D awareness will get caught up in a term, for instance, such as hope. Hope, as long as we got hope, we've always got hope. Hope is a state of being that keeps you living in the future. While hope is good, it's good to have hope. It's always positive to have hope. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is the term hope, the intention of that word of giving hope by controllers keeps you living in the future. You have hope it will change. And then just when you can't take it anymore, maybe they adjust it a little bit for you so you're content for a second but you still have that hope it's going to get better we would like to compare hope in that terms to riding on a carousel you know riding on a horse carousel and trying to pass that horse in front of you or catch up with it the program 3d system is not wired nor intended that way to let you catch up with it so these are things that you need to be aware of, which most of you already are, but understand that when you're dealing with maybe somebody who frustrates you in 3D, a family member or friend, and they use a catchphrase, such as in the example of Bernie Sanders running for president, such as the catchphrase of socialist, which on so many levels is just a 3D perception of correctness. It is not correct. It is the meaning of the word is not what they're using it as for one, nor was it intended to be meant in that way by the person Bernie Sanders using it. But folks will hear this catchphrase and just be like, oh, he's a this, he's a that, when they don't even know the real definition of what this or that is. And for two, it really doesn't even matter. It's just a word. It's just a catchphrase. It's about actions. It's about doing your own research, star babies. And it's about encouraging 
friends and family members without badgering them. It's about encouraging them to do their own research on what these terms mean, what these terms mean, and then not only that, what the intent of the use of that word was by the person. Do not listen, of course, to the talking fake cloned female and male bobbleheads on shows on networks such as Fox News. They are either one in the illusion themselves and programmed that way, or two, it is part of their disinformation intent to perpetuate words like that into your 3D five sense limited frequency consciousness. You might say it is their mission or job to put those phrases out there so that folks in the mainstream will just get hung up on a term, hung up on a catchphrase that they don't really even know the meaning or the correct terminology for. They will get hung up on that and it'll be plugged into their mind constantly, constantly, constantly. Hope, 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 socialist, socialist, socialist. Things of that nature that just plug away. It is very important to stay aware now that you're awakened and millions and millions are awakening by the week. Still the vast majority of your Earth's population is dead asleep in a coma, but as you can see over the past few decades it's like a dream come true with the amount of people that are awakening and you will notice it in just subtle ways with family and friends of yours. You will just notice in little ways they are awakening from the old paradigm and the old limited controlled beliefs that have been programmed in them since the time they came out of the womb. Since the time they were in school five days a week being told what time to eat, what time to talk, when they can take a break, when they can stand up, when they should sit down. These things have taken a while to start to crack into, to start to hack into this programming that has been put over humanity. The Orb Collective loves you so much and is there for you. Just call out for us with pure heart, patience, and good intentions. Think of us more as a friend, more as kind of a, a family member, a brother or a sister that you can bounce ideas off, that you can share, yes, believe it or not, share wisdom with and get back from. As we at the Rainbow Orb Collective, of the Pleiadian and Laren Rainbow Orb Collective, are also interested in your thoughts, your views, your perceptions as well. You are an all-powerful, complete being. Once you just understand the key fact that you can tune out of that limited frequency that you've been put into, that the collective of humanity's mind is put into, once you realize that you can go past that, you are an all-powerful being. You are an angelic being, per se. Once you get into your Pleiadian light body mindset, there is nothing that you can't get on the road to manifesting step by step with pure heart intentions. And with that, the Rainbow Orb Collective of Lyra and the Pleiades would like to tell you that energy shifts come and they go and to just be patient through them and to be in tune with how you may be feeling that day if you're upset and you're a little bit irritable recognize it and understand it and maybe think about how what you may say or do on that day. Think about if you're in that calm perception looking back, think about how you might think about something that you might just off the cuff say 
or do. Just consider these facts. Consider how you're feeling. Consider your mood. And just be in that moment. But try and understand it from all angles. From your clear, complete awareness perception. Understand it. And with that, we will depart at this time, sending you much love and energy and always protecting your planet from things, from evil entities, from natural disasters such as meteorites, as well as keeping the great central sun just enough at bay to where it's giving you loving nutrition and energy but not causing too great a harm. Humanity, it is up to you as well though to join us in this and to be aware of things. Also, just coming to the Lear and Rainbow Orb Collective's perception is thoughts like, your earth is going through a shift right now. Your, your earth is going through a dimensional shift a pole shift. Global warming, what you call it, global warming is a natural occurrence that happens to Earth. But at the same time, it does not mean that you do not need to stop raping and drilling Mother Gaia for all the last bit of fluids and oil that you can suck out of her. It means a consciousness of understanding that technologies have been there and hidden from you for hundreds of years and to spread the word just not badgering the point home but doing your own research also and dropping subtle hints to people that are still in the illusion and asleep bringing it up subtly in conversation without badgering the point home that it is no longer it never was it never was a good thing to do it always was an evil thing to do to the earth but it has not been necessary to do to the earth for a century in your time at this point so we want you to sit on that we understand that most of you know all this information that will be listening to this transmission but it's always good a good reminder food for thought as you may say and to also subtly bring some of these things up in conversations about how catchphrases, cliches, and continuing to be stuck in the old paradigm of drilling for oil and not realizing that there's other, there's other means that have long since existed in your realm to solve these issues bringing those things up in conversation lovingly to people and understanding that there is a way out of this we are going through a consciousness revolution and light workers and star seeds you can help this process you can help this process by just sharing a word here and there sharing your loving energy in just subtle ways with that the Rainbow Orb Collective of Lyra and the Pleiades would like to thank the Looney Lyran for facilitating this. And with that, we wish you a great weekend. And we wish you nothing but unconditional love and unconditional non-judgmentalness. And with that, we will bid you namaste.